teenagers back then when the Oklahoma band Color Me Bad became a worldwide smash, but the group's success was short-lived. Yeah, tonight, after a three-decade-long struggle with alcohol, lead singer Brian Abrams is turning it all around. Here's our own Mike Glover with tonight's Something Good. In the early 90s, one of the biggest bands on the planet was Oklahoma's Color Me Bad, but along with the success of the band came the challenges with that success. <laughs> Back in the breaking days, man, everybody was break dancing and we couldn't break, or at least I didn't, so we'd start hitting the doo off. They would literally find a way to get to anyone in the recording business that came through Oklahoma City. So we ditched to go and meet Cool in the Game. That connection would lead to other connections and eventually make the group world superstars. It happened so fast that a lot of the people that I was watching on television and buying records for, we ended up touring with some of these people. The foursome would soon find themselves in situations they just weren't equipped to handle. I lost my voice and my bus driver introduced me to a hot toddy. I had a family that had a lot of alcoholics and addicts and people that struggled with that type of thing. Brian would struggle with alcoholism for close to 30 years. One of the last times I drank, um, I ended up uh, acting kind of crazy, and it ended up on TMZ. And it was the disappointment to his wife and kids that would ultimately push Brian to get help. I'm in my fourth year of sobriety, so April 12th, this last April, I had three years. Brian's story is now being told in a docufilm. It's basically just about my story and addiction and um, how it affected my family and career. It's called Flowers in the Attic, named after his nonprofit. And it's got Brian back in a very familiar place. Finishing up some music that I'm working on. I'm going to release some new music. I'm going to put out an album. Um, but there's going to be some messages in that record. Now, Brian's movie, Flowers in the Attic, can be seen this weekend at the Dead Center Film Festival. We'll have a link with this story on our News 9 website on how you can see it. I'm Mike Glover for Oklahoma's own News 9. Good for you, Brian. I'll we'll have to check out the film that's now coming on the film festival. Well, we'll All right.